this year, the great room is our living room. It was all inspired by Ralph Lauren's new California Romantics collection. We started by asking Tarotuga Designs to carve this French limestone fireplace. Isn't it fabulous? This is really the focal point of the room. This is a truly eco fireplace, which is from Inflame. It has this log set that contains cans of ethanol gel, which burn two to four hours, give off a little bit of heat, and are odorless. And above it is art by Daniel Schneider from his Chandelier series. And look at these. Sometimes the smallest thing can make the biggest statement. These are hand wrought iron candlesticks from Hall's Clooney, and they're so slender, but they're perfect. So in the room, we put the Jeffrey sofa from Montauk. We had it custom upholstered in soft, creamy linen, and we had custom cushions made from various prints, including this Navajo-inspired Ralph Lauren print. Now throughout the house, there are all these exotic prints, and what's really cool is that they come from every country and they all work together. There are a lot of global influences in this room, like our two mirrors, gigantic, Moroccan-inspired with a dome top. Then there are Ralph Lauren's camp chairs. This is the sort of thing you'd see in Argentina. Natural leather, exposed nail heads, really luxurious. And those tiny stump tables from West Elm. Across the room is the Serengeti chair in natural hide from LT. Again, no rug, but we'll probably put one in as it gets colder. The coffee table my partner Michelle made, and I watched him make it. It's from a solid slab of tulip wood, and it's been buffed and sanded a million times and has had tongue oil rubbed into it. It's got that natural edge. Loved it so much, he's making one for my living room. In the corner is a desk from LT. It's a drop leaf desk, and I really love this because it's so multi-purpose. You could fold it up and use it as a sofa table, leave one leaf down as we have, and one folded. And then over the desk is original art by Michael Gary. Then on either side of the doors to the study are these two interesting demi-lune tables. They're a combination of wood and metal, and the lamps are from Pottery Barn, and they pick up that rusty metal theme that you'll see throughout this house. Across the way is the dining room, where we went for frankly pretty. Although the materials do mirror what's going on in the living room, this room is very romantic. First we chose this distressed oak table called Vintage from Restoration Hardware, which seats 10 people. We loved the rounded ends and we married it with shield back chairs in natural linen with exposed nail heads. And then we decided to add burlap barrel chandeliers. This is repurposed fabric. It actually comes from potato sacking. And there's this neat light bulb inside, which is a vintage bulb. It's got the exposed filament. And we hung them low because I like the feeling of intimacy when you're sitting at a table and the chandeliers are low. At one end, we created a feature wall from this handsome chest, also distressed wood, has a slate top. It's from Cocoon. And a dresser in a dining room is a really neat thing. It can hold all your linens and your serving pieces. On this wall, we did a collection of faience from John Darien. Originally, I always thought that faience was French, but apparently it's not. It comes from Fenza, a town in northern Italy, and it's usually finely glazed, hand-painted pottery. But imagine how long it would take for you to collect all these different dishes and make a great assortment. So John Darien's done a fun thing. He's done a decoupage treatment of pattern behind glass, and you buy it in a set of 18 plates, it comes with a pattern, and of course you have to do your own thing, and you hang it like this, and isn't it fabulous? It really creates a feature wall. And then across the way, to balance all this drama, we got this wonderful glass-fronted china cabinet from Bobo and Lefty, which came with this blue interior. These are Marion dishes from Crate and Barrel, and we chose them because we like the freeform edge and the way they're rubbed with a dark color, which really makes them feel old and artisanal. The sconces continue the rusty theme, and they're from Universal Lighting. Carried Joyce drapery, extra, extra full drapes in beautiful printed linen really make this a feature wall. And all the rods in the whole house are custom made by Dynamic Iron. They're beautiful. 